Somehow, Vecna returned. What's going on guys, I'm Chris, and welcome back to another Stranger Things update video. So today we've got some paparazzi photos from season five, giving us our first look at two characters in season five. And one of them might just be the main big bad villain of Stranger Things. Before I get into this update video though, be sure to hit that like button and comment down below your predictions based on everything I'm about to talk about. Subscribe to that notification bell to help reach my goal of 150,000 subscribers here on the channel. It mean a lot. And if you guys want to watch movies and TV shows with me, Stranger Things included, you can do so on my Patreon. My commentary tracks for every episode of the show are available where you guys sync up and watch along with me. And the first episode of every season is free to watch with me. Your support over there means the world. And I've got tons of exciting content planned over there this summer, including live streams. So consider becoming a film stock patron today. But without further ado, let's get down to business. So some paparazzi photos dropped from the Creel House set. That's right, we are heading back to the Creel House in this final season of Stranger Things. Over the past, I'd say, month or so, photos have been dropping of them repainting the set to look like it did in the season four flashbacks, with like the blue base and the white outlines, as you guys can see here. Now, here's what the Creel House looked like after they were done filming and painted it back to normal. And here's actually a photo of me there because I visited filming locations for Stranger Things seasons one through four in 2022. And I actually have two filming locations logs you guys should check out. We have lots of fun with them. But anyway, these new set photos reveal pictures of two characters, and if you don't want to see any spoilers, these are paparazzi photos, so you've been warned. But we've got our first look at Nell Fisher, presumably playing Holly Wheeler, as well as the return of Jamie Kimmelbauer as Henry Creel slash 01 slash Vecna. Let's start by talking about Vecna. Obviously, he's the main villain of Stranger Things, and there was a big reveal at the end of the Massacre at Hawkins Lab episode, the seventh episode of season four, that Henry Creel's 01 and Vecna, and it's recon contextualize Stranger Things as we know it. Our characters believed they defeated Vecna at the end of season four, but he said himself this is only the beginning, the beginning of the end, and Will even says he can sense Vecna's presence in Hawkins. Obviously, the final shot of season four indicates the Upside Down is bleeding into Hawkins, so Vecna's going nowhere, baby. As we can see, Jamie Campbell Bauer is wearing a hat, some glasses, and a brown suit with like a red tie. This is a new outfit entirely for the character, and he's in human form. The first question I asked is, when is this set? In the current times, we don't know where Vecna is. He just disappeared at the end of season four, but also he had been mutilated and looks completely different than Jamie Campbell Bowers, Henry. We also know that the Creel house in Hawkins itself was split down the middle at the end of season four, and it looked super run down and abandoned prior to it being split. So this scene's likely not in present day Hawkins. It's almost certainly a flashback or a dream sequence slash trance of sort. And that poses the question, is Vecna speaking directly to Holly in a vision, dream sequence, or trance? He could very well have her in a trance, just like he does with Nancy at the end of Stranger Things Season 4. But why does he look like the actor Jamie Kimmelbauer? Why does he have that Henry Creel human look? He could be presenting himself as a human to come off as more approachable to Holly, less terrifying and scary. And he could honestly be luring her in to put her in a trance, sort of like how Pennywise would lure in kids in the It franchise. But let's talk about about Holly Wheeler. Nell Fisher is like 99.9% .9 likely to be playing Holly Wheeler moving forward in this final season of Stranger Things, which makes sense considering the time jump. The actresses, the twins who played Holly in the earlier seasons might not have the acting chops needed to play Holly in this new season, especially if she's taking on a bigger role. And it's worth noting that like months ago, the Stranger Things writer's Twitter account put out a tweet talking about how Evil Dead Rise and Stranger Things 5 have one small thing in common. Well, as it turns out, Nell Fisher stars in Evil Dead Rise, so it makes sense that they were addressing her and her role in Stranger Things Season 5. But like I said, with the time jump, it makes lots of sense for them to recast here. We see a photo of her like grabbing something out of a mailbox. I have no clue what it is, but that is distinctly 80s packaging with the bright pink coloring and even the font you can tell. That's something out of the 80s. So we see Jamie Kimmelbauer as Vecna Henry 01 and we see Holly on set. But why these two characters? Well, based on the leaked episode titles for this final season of Stranger Things, the second episode presumably is going to be called The Vanishing of Blank Wheeler. We don't know whose name fills in that 
that blank because it is a spoiler, according to the source who let out these episode title names. But could it be Holly Wheeler? With this episode being so early in the season, it being Mike or Nancy is probably unlikely. So let's talk about if it could be Karen Wheeler. We know Kara Buono, who plays Karen, had a video that released on the Stranger Things broadcast channel on Instagram a few months back, and she talked about how she was on set for her first day filming a scene. She's excited as Karen gets to do something, and then the video cuts away. So it definitely could be Karen Wheeler who vanishes. There's some information out there on the internet that I'm not going to talk about here that could point to that. I don't even want to address it because it comes from someone who broke onto the set and took a picture or something. Feel free to look into that in your own time. I'm not going to talk about it here, but it could definitely be Karen. But with these photos showing Holly next to Vecna, I'm leaning that this episode title is actually Holly Wheeler. Now, Vecna is no stranger to the Wheeler family. In fact, in season four, he put Nancy in a trance and dumped all that information on her. And it got pretty dark based on Nancy retelling what Vecna told her. He showed me my mom, Holly, Mike, we were all... She talked about how she saw a giant creature with a gaping mouth that wasn't alone. There were so many monsters, an army, and she discussed how they came to Hawkins. He, referring to Vecna, showed me my mom and Holly and Mike, and they, they were all, and she obviously doesn't finish, but we can assume she was going to say dead. So taking into account Nancy's interaction with Vecna in season four, as well as these paparazzi photos of Holly with Vecna, and then Karen's video from the broadcast channel, could this all be teasing the death of the wheel? family? I mean, that would be an incredibly dark route to go, but it is the final season, no one's really safe. But it seems like Vecna's starting to get in the heads of the Wheeler family one by one with Nancy, now seemingly Holly. Why them? Why the Wheelers? We know Nancy has the trauma of feeling guilty over Barb's death, but if you look back at Holly's past in the show, there's these little hints that might have been setting up a bigger role for her all along. For starters, if we go back to season one, we see Holly and Karen visit the buyer house when Joyce is distraught over losing Will. This is when Joyce has started to lose her mind to everyone else and paint the letters on the wall hanging up the Christmas lights. Well, Holly wanders off into a back room and she sees that Demogorgon hand in the wall for a second, as well as lights flickering. Joyce ends up scolding her and Carrot and Holly leave, but Holly saw something that day. And then if you go to season four, Holly Wheeler has the final lines of the season. She says, Mom, it's snowing. Mom, it's could that have been setting up a greater role for her and all of us just had no clue in the moment? Be pretty brilliant by the Duffer Brothers, I'll be honest. But anyway, back to these photos, if we're talking about the wardrobe here, Holly Wheeler is wearing these bright, vibrant colors that are distinctly 80s. And then you've got Henry wearing this brown suit, very monochromatic, seems like something out of the 50s or 60s. So why is he not trying to fit in with an 80s vibe? Well, it could be pretty simple. He could be basing his wardrobe off of what he knew when he was actually a human way back when, or it could just be some sort of flashback. We know the Creel house is repainted to the way it was in the season four flashbacks, which were in the 1950s. So we can come to the conclusion that anything shot of the Creel house has to be either a vision or a flashback. It cannot be set in the present day, 1980s. Now, if we saw these paparazzi photos and we only saw Henry Creel being there, no Holly, I would be pretty confident in saying, okay, this is a flashback then. But with the inclusion of Holly Wheeler there, I'm leaning that this is some sort of vision. And the question I asked, the question I posed earlier is, is Vecna holding her in a trance like he did with Nancy in season four? Or is Holly dreaming or having a vision of her own where she sees Henry Creel? Any way you slice it, it seems like we can all agree that this is a flashback or vision somewhere in the 1950s. This is not in present day Hawkins. And all signs seem to be pointing to the fact that Vecna is in Holly's mind. Now this next theory is way out of left field, but you never know. Are we 100% sure, without a shadow of a doubt, this is even Holly Wheeler? It's been heavily reported that Nell Fisher is playing Holly, but what if she's playing someone like Alice Creel, Henry's sister, or a young Virginia Creel, who is Henry's mother? Both of these are highly, highly unlikely because Nell Fisher has the signature Holly Wheeler pigtails and an 80s outfit, but it's fun to sit here and speculate the absolute absurdity of it all. I mean, never forget when we got a season four character poster of Karen Wheeler and people were convinced she was related to Henry Creel.
All that to say, we have our first look at Jamie Kimmelbauer on set of Stranger Things Season 5 wearing a suit. He's not in his Vecna attire. We don't see what Vecna's new look or redesign will be in this final season, but Jamie Kimmelbauer's there, and is he playing mind games with Holly Wheeler in some sort of vision, trance, or flashback? Who's to say? We'll have to find out in the final season, but things are heating up, and I can't wait to see the return of Jamie Kimmelbauer and the recasting of Holly. But that'll do it for this Stranger Things Season 5 update video. Let me know in the comments down below all your theories and predictions based on what I just talked about. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help reach my goal of 150,000 subscribers here on the channel. It means a lot. And if you guys want to watch Stranger Things with me, you can do so on my Patreon. My commentary tracks for every episode are out right now. The commentary track for the first episode of every season is free. It's lots of fun. You guys sync up with the episode and watch along with me and my girlfriend Cam. We crack jokes, talk theories. It's a grand old time, and I got some exclusive live streams and other content over there as well. Your support truly does mean the world on Patreon, so consider joining that community today. Thank you guys as always for watching and until next time, I'll see you on the other side of the Upside Down.